Hi guys, welcome back to K-World. Today I'll be summarizing the 2020 action film Deliver Us From Evil. With a plot spoiler alert, let's get to it. Inam is a hitman who is planning to retire. He is assigned to kill a Japanese monster named Karita by an informant named Shimita as Inam last mission. Karita is a notorious gangster who has killed dozens of women. Single-handedly, Inam manages to kill all of Karita's guards and then Karita. After completing the mission, Inam meets with Shimita, who provides him with the promised money and a passport. Youngju is an investor who resides in Thailand with her daughter Yumin. One day Youngju sends Yumin to school and tells her that the babysitter will pick her up after school. Youngju then goes to discuss an investment in a golf course with Jong Su, her real estate agent. After school, the babysitter waits for Yumin as instructed by Youngju. Nervously, the babysitter takes Yumin to her husband's car, and they drive away. Sometime later, Youngju realizes that Yumin has been kidnapped, and she reports it to the police. She also reaches out with a person named Chun Sung, begging him to contact Inum for assistance. Chun Sung gets in touch with Inum through Shimita and informs him that Youngju is seeking his help. However, Inum refuses to offer his help. The police hesitate to officially record the disappearance, since no threatening calls have been received. Youngju receives a call from Jiang Su, who informs her that he managed to locate the babysitter, and she is demanding for money. Jiang Su urges Youngju to meet with him without involving the police or anyone else. So Youngju hurriedly rushes to meet with Jiang Su. The next morning, Shimita conveys a message from Chun Sung to Innum that Youngju has been killed. Flashing back eight years, we learn that Innum used to be an agent of the National Intelligence Agency, with Chun Sung as his superior. The government decides to disband Chun Sung's team and eliminate all the agents. Chun Sung advises him to leave the country immediately and go into hiding. Before heading to the airport, Innum visits Youngju, who was his girlfriend at the time. For her own safety, Innum decides to leave the country after witnessing how frightened she becomes when they are attacked by a group of men. In the present time, Innum returns to Korea and finds Youngju's body. The detective hands him Youngju's wallet, which only contains photos of Yumin, and informs him that Yumin is still missing. Upon seeing the photos, Innum realizes that Yumin is his daughter. He goes Chun Sung looking for answers. Chun Sung informs him that shortly after Innum's departure, Youngju had approached him and revealed her pregnancy. He had given her the option of either reuniting with Innum or raising the child on her own. Due to the trauma she experienced from the attack, Youngju chose to raise the child herself. Innum receives a call from Shimita to warns him about Rei, who is Karita's younger brother. Rei is seeking revenge against those involved in Karita's murder. Shimita advises Innum to leave Korea. While Shimita is on his way to the airport, his taxi gets rammed. When he regains his consciousness, he finds himself restrained on a stretcher alongside Rei and Rei's henchmen. They demand to know Innum's whereabouts. Terrified, Shimita immediately reveals that he sent Innum to Korea to find Chun Sung. But Rei tortures Shimita and kills him. Innum goes to Thailand to find Yumin. Chun Sung tells him to go to a person named Young Bei who can help him to find Yumin. Later Rei gets to Chun Sung and kills him as well. After finding out one of Yumin's posters, Rei realizes that Innum is in Thailand so he heads off there. Young Bei has researched on the matter and tells him that the actual mastermind behind the kidnap seems to be Young Ju's real estate agent Jiang Su. Despite working alongside her for a year, Jiang Su is actually a fugitive wanted for fraud in South Korea. Innum begins to trail Jiang Su and takes him to a remote location. There, Jiang Su eventually admits to the crime. He confesses that he had waited until Young Ju had accumulated enough money for a golf course deposit before abducting Yu Min. Additionally, he reveals that Yu Min had been killed by the babysitter and her husband. Angered by it, Innum kills him. Ray also tries to locate Yu Min. The gang approaches him and claims to have found the babysitter. They lead Ray to their hideout, where all the gang members are present with the intention of robbing him. However, Ray ends up killing all of them. Meanwhile, Innum succeeds in locating the babysitter. He begins to torture her husband in an attempt to make her confess what they did to Yumin's body. The babysitter eventually admits that despite telling Jiang Su that Yumin had died, they actually sold the child to a criminal organization named Chopo. Innum learns from Young Bei that Chopo is a massive organization, and selling children is just a sideline of it, with Korean children being particularly sought after by buyers. Young Bei introduces Innum to Yui, a transgender woman as his tour guide and translator. Young Bae provides them with a contact number and advises them to call it after arriving at a restaurant in Lafrao. Following Young Bae's instructions, Innum and Yui realize that it's a child trafficking operation designed for organ transplants. Innum and Yui manage to make the members of the organization to take them to the facility where the children are held. Innum discovers that Yumin had been at that location, but she was then moved to a different place. Innum insists on buying Yumin, assuring them that he's willing to pay any amount they demand. While they wait for the organization members, Innum returns to the room where the captive children are held. He asks them about Yumin's whereabouts, and one child recognizes her, revealing that she was taken for a surgery. Innum decides to rescue all the children. 
When the organization's members arrive and see Innum and Yui with the children, Innum fights them and kills most of them. He threatens the woman in charge to confess that Yun Min was taken for a heart transplant surgery. When Innum threatens the woman to reveal the location, one of the children informs him that Yu Min was taken to Langyao. Just as they're about to leave with the boy, Rei arrives on the scene. Innum instructs Yui to escape with the boy, and then engages in a fierce fight with Rei. Innum somehow manages to escape from Rei. However, he sees Yui and the boy being arrested by the police. That night the police raid the building and rescue all the captive children. Lan, who is the boss of the Chopo organization, orders his men to locate and eliminate Innum, Yui, and Rei. Later, as Innum prepares to journey to Langyao, he receives news of Chun Sung's death from Young Bei. Innum then makes a call to Rei, warning him that he'll kill Rei if he continues in pursuing him. However, Rei counter threatens, claiming he will kill everyone around Innum. Meanwhile, Yui confesses to the police, revealing that Innum is heading to Langyao to rescue other children. So the police dispatch a team to Langyao. Rei goes to a weapons store managed by the Chopo organization and extracts information about Yu Min's location. He also takes enough weapons from the store. Inna manages to locate the football factory Yu Min has held and sees his daughter for the first time across from the other building as she looks outside the window. He watches as Yu Min gets taken away to the surgery. The police also have followed Inna and pursue him as well. As Inna chases after the van, Ray intercepts him and shoots at him. The police that have been on pursuit start shooting them both. Somehow Innum manages to escape the gunfire leaving Ray to take care of the police. Innum gets just in time to save his daughter from the surgery and takes Yu Min away. Innum brings Yu Min to a hotel and devises an escape plan for both of them, with the assistance of Young Bei. Chopo's operations in Langyao also gets exposed. Meanwhile, Ray barge into Lan's house and asks for his help to kill Innum. Innum contacts Yui, requesting her help in looking after Yu Min until he can arrange a safe route for their escape to Panama. However, Yui declines, stating that she is already pursued by both the police and members of Chopo because her involvements with Innum. The following day, Innum requests for a doctor as Yu Min remains silent since their meeting. The doctor tells her that Yu Min is still in shock. Suddenly, Innum receives a phone call from a person demanding a meeting to finalize their journey to Panama. Since Yui did not show up, Innum asks the doctor to stay with Yu Min for 10 minutes, saying he has to step out to address certain matters. When Innum returns to the hotel, he gets ambushed by Chopo's men. He fights and kills his way back to the room, but when he gets there he finds Rei and his men already in the room. Because Innum is already wounded Chopo's men easily overpower him. Rei then kills some of Chopo's henchmen, and orders the rest to take Innum elsewhere, while he attends to Yumin, and demands not to touch Innum until he gets there. Rei places Yumin in a suitcase. Despite her initial refusal, Yui arrives and waits in the parking area. She witnesses Innum being taken away in a van. Yui rams her truck into the van and unties Innum. He learns from the men that Yumin is with Rei. On seeing Rei leaving Innum chases after his van and manages to barge in and fight with Rei. Innum realizes that Yumin is in the suitcase, and as he tries to open it, Rei stabs him. Innum grabs one of the grenades and detonates it, causing injuries to both Innum and Rei. Innum frees Yumin when Yui arrives, and he tells her to take Yumin and run away. Rei brutally stabs Innum, and as he watches Yui take Yumin away, he detonates another grenade inside the van, killing both Innum and Rei. Apparently, Innum had left a voicemail for Yui, informing her about a locker containing documents and money for their journey to Panama. He tells Yui that he will entrust Yumin to her care if he doesn't survive. The movie ends with Yumin and Yui relocating to Panama, where they start a new life in the home Innum had arranged for them. We also see a photo frame in the Panama house showing a photo of Innum and a photo of Young Ju and Yumin side by side. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.